What is up guys and welcome back. Right, I'm going to show you how I eventually got that damn two of us trophy. It took almost a day to actually complete it. But I'm going to show you in detail how I actually went about doing this. Now the first thing you really need to do, the first first thing is to find an island that has two boars and two snakes. Now I'm not going to show you the hunting of those, they're pretty straightforward. Use a distance weapon, a spear for the snakes and an axe if you want with a boar. But you have to find an island with two boars and two snakes because the last thing you want to do is be transporting these things to different islands. So once you've done that, then we can get cracking. Okay, so the first thing you want to sort out is the position of the raft. Now, I'm going to show you a failed attempt here and then explain to you why it failed, just to give you some more insight on how to do this. Now, ideally, you want to put the raft as close to the shore as possible so you can walk up to it and just drop the animal on it. Now, this wouldn't be such a mission if it was on PC, but uh, it's not. And the transition from PC to console, as you know, is always a bit rusty. So here we have the ball, the other one's behind me. We have two crabs, two seagulls. Now the crabs and the seagulls can stay in your inventory. That is fine. But the two snakes and the two boars, uh -huh. different story. So my other boar is over there. Now I have moved the raft, so I feel compelled to save. <laughs> Just something, one less thing I can do the next time. Or one less thing I will have to do the next time. So the glitch. Now... I'm going to show you how to remedy this glitch. You can't prevent it, but you can actually still get these things on there and you can actually still get the boars to stay on the raft. So again, I want to show you what I did here and then what I did differently the second time. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but uh, that is pretty much what you need to do. You need to be able to walk onto the raft and place it. Now, I will show you a different position of the raft and why I moved it and uh, another perk which popped up. I didn't even realize after I had moved it. So let me just show you here. That's the placement of the ball. So again, I'm like, okay, well, this is pretty good. It's starting to rain. Maybe I can get this right now. But obviously, I didn't have my bats. Okay, so here we go, the glitch. Now, when it does glitch like this, do not go anywhere near your raft. It'll knock everything off. As you see, I lose my ball and my ball on my raft because this thing will knock anything that it comes into contact with. So there is a way to remedy this glitch. I will show you in a second. But if this does happen, it does start glitching, stay away from everything because as you can see, everything goes tits up pretty damn quickly right so what I did is I moved my raft now this was beneficial for two reasons firstly it was closer as I will show you on my left in a second I was checking the animals are still there so I moved the raft over here facing the gap in the rocks thinking I could just walk down the sand and it'll be easier to, to load the uh, raft with animals which it was but the other benefit is as you can see there's no waves it's not moving, it's not moving left and right. The animals are not going to fall off when I'm resting them on there. So what I decided to do was actually load the animals up where normally I would wait for it to start raining and thundering. But I, I thought, okay, well, if the raft isn't going to move and it doesn't move at all, I'm going to load the animals up and then I'm going to show you what you need to do after that. So here is the glitch remedy. So here we go. I'm not going to speed this up or, or cut or anything. I want to show you how long it takes. So again, I'm facing upwards because it's going to knock anything that it comes into contact with. And especially if you've got other animals on the raft already, don't go anywhere near it. As you will see in a second, I learn very quickly that this thing could almost tip the raft over if it wants to. But here's the remedy, guys. Just wait. Hold that button, the grab button, L2 on PS4, and just wait. As you can see, he's slightly coming out of it there, and he definitely will come out of it. He worked for me every single time. So as you can see there, it's going to knock everything tits up. But just wait. Wait on the side. Wait for him to stop glitching. Stop glitching. And you will see in a second, he does. Come on. There we go. And then bang. Dropped him on. Now his position right there wasn't exactly where I wanted it. So I took a big risk in picking up the boar again. I just thought, what the hell of it. I'm just going to load my game if it glitches out. Pick him up and put him in the middle. Now there is also another trick which I figured out. Uh, when placing the snake. So I'm going to get both balls on there first. And if you do it very slowly, sometimes it won't glitch. But this is like 1 in 10. If it doesn't glitch, I was very lucky not to glitch this. But uh, now I've got a remedy for it. I actually decided to go for the trophy because that was stopping me from even attempting it. I'm not going to be chasing balls out into the ocean deep. Okay, so the snakes. Now you can use these guys to kind of anchor the balls down. So the first load here was a bit of a fail. I, got, I went too deep in the water. I should have gone from the other side, which is the reason why I actually moved the damn raft. But as you can see, what I do here is I lie the snakes over the boars. Once I get the snake on the raft. Yeah, so I lie the snakes over the boars, as I will in a second. And this actually anchors them down. And uh, the position I put them in right here is the position they're in when the trophy pops. This was also risky, picking him up like that. 
You could have glitched out and knocked those two things gone. But I thought, fuck it, I'll just save it if it, or sorry, load it if it messes up. So this snake now, I wanted to lay over both of them. As you can see here, I think I do exactly that. So you can still jump, lie over both of them, and anchors them down. Now that's the position I actually get the trophy in. So that works very well as well. Now you can also, guys, there's actually another little tip you can do. As you can see, I've got the snake, or sorry, the uh, crab and the seagulls there. I need to still get the bat hunt. Another quick little tip here, you can build a raft uh, either side of these, on uh, this side over here, and on the other side on the left. And then what you do is you just leave off the floor off the base of the raft and it creates like an indentation and you can actually drop the animals in there which could help actually keep them in place but I didn't need to because I found a spot a little bay where there's no waves and the raft wasn't moving at all so I thought that is good enough right the bat hunts now a couple things you need to know firstly the bats will only stay in your inventory for 24 hours they will disappear completely they are the only animals that will do that so in essence you need to hunt two bats every single night for an anticipation of a storm the next day simplified hunt two bats every night until you get the trophy now contrary to popular belief you do not have to run around throwing spears at the stars or shooting arrows at the moon to get these bats there's a very very easy way to catch your bat or to kill a bat they will always fly out over the ocean at the start and they'll continue to do this all night so you'll have plenty of bats i think i had like 20 at one stage as you can see there they are and they will break away one or two will break away very evidently and fly straight to a palm like such there it is right there on the palm walk up and you're battered no problem at all right there then just do that again you can search the palm trees in your vicinity or head back out and uh, search for them flocking if you will i don't even know if they flock they definitely don't school do that i don't know Go look for the bats out there, and again, they're going to fly straight in, straight to the palms, easy as day. Now again, you can use a bone arrow here, but you won't have a light. So I like to just jump and hit, time it like that, and bang, we've got the bats. Now, all you have to do is wait for a storm. Now be sure that it is actually a storm, guys, because if it's just raining, this ain't going to count. You have to wait for it. I think I was kind of premature here. So I thought, okay, well, the rain's coming, this is looking good, but sometimes it does do this and it won't actually thunder. So I got a bit, uh, bit amped here because it took me a good, I don't know how many hours, hours and hours and hours to get this right. So I got the crab, the seagull and the bat, the two balls and the snakes right there. Now I should have waited for the first thunder strike to come in or lightning strike. And then just to confirm that it is a storm, but I was, I think I just knew it was by the look of it. It was getting quite rough quite quickly. And I wanted to position the raft facing the gap exactly. I almost messed that up. I would have never forgiven myself. So it's facing the gap right there, and bam, we are away. You can see the snakes and the boars are still in the center, which is where you want them. Now there is another way you can actually tell if you're going to get the trophy a couple of seconds before you do. Watch for the uh, sardines and the clownfish floating. The animals on the raft obviously do something with the levels, and as you can see, right over here, the fish come out of the water right there, and then you know you're gold. That gold. Thank God it is a gold trophy, because if it was anything less, I probably wouldn't have even attempted it. Now, who am I kidding? I need platinum for this. Uh, I would have been in the bag anyway. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions at all, hit me up. I'm always going to reply. And uh, I just thought I'd show you a couple of glitches here. How cool does that look? Floating plot. And then it disappears. Poof. So that's it guys, I'm going to leave you with some footage of my first Marlin, absolutely awesome, loving this game to bits. Uh, remember if you're having trouble with any trophies, you can email me from the description and I can help you get those tricky trophies and the tricky platinums as well. So like I always say guys, if you are enjoying the content, please smash that like button and if you are really enjoying it, then subscribe. So I want to say thanks for watching and I'm going to catch you on the next one.